Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and I wanted to give a little update on my first acid dye stock solutions. I mixed these back in January and it is currently uh, middle towards the end of September, which means that these are approaching nine months old. They still work great to dye yarn and I'm able to get the dye baths to clear. However, the concentration has not been consistent throughout this period of time. For some of the colors, in particular the Jacquard Violet, uh, I've noticed that the color has gotten more intense over time. I think that's because maybe I haven't been mixing it up well and there was some sediment in the bottle. Therefore, towards the bottom, the colors were way more intense than they were when I used them earlier on. This isn't a huge deal unless you're trying to replicate something. And then you find yourself trying to replicate something and you find the colors are way, way too dark, which can be a little concerning. Um, but some of the colors, like the silver gray was pretty consistent. Um, the pink has been pretty consistent. The yellow, the sun yellow was never consistent. It's sort of jellified at one point and has always been cloudy but it still does dye yarn very nicely. Uh, the sky blue, I think I got some paper in there. There's some like nice little chunks, but overall, like nothing grew in any of them. Um, and I've still been able to dye yarn. And I feel like the hues themselves have been pretty consistent. It's just, I did notice in the sky blue that there were also some particles. So for example, at one point I mixed a really nice teal I added it to a warm water dye bath and I was like, where'd that teal go? That is blue. And that's because there was all of a sudden a lot more dye than I thought there was from my original paper towel dip. So that is my little caution from the stock solutions. I think that making your stock solutions and using them over a short period of time makes sense. If you're gonna be dyeing like a dozen skeins in one colorway, make your stock solution and when you're doing that, so that way you have some consistency. I think if consistency is your goal, having these remain for months at a time might not be the best idea. And also like, I feel like on one hand that may have limited my ability to really get a feel for these colors because if things are a little more intense or a little less intense um, versus me mixing it fresh each time, I don't, I still don't have a good sense of how much dye I want to use to achieve a saturated or a pastel. Um, and this is something that I still need to work around with and learn more about. But anyway, I did want to give you this update because um, I thought that you all should know. I, I mentioned this from time to time in some of my videos, especially the videos lately as I've been approaching the end of some of these bottles. Um, so in theory, it's a great concept um, in practice. I don't think I'm necessarily gonna bother making the stock solutions. I think that, you know, it is, like if I made too much dye of a certain color, would I save it? Sure, absolutely. Um, the other thing is that, you know, a, a liter of a 1% stock solution goes a really, really long way, a lot further than I thought. So if you don't have space to store stock, solution, stock solutions, don't despair. Have a bottle or two that you can use for leftover colors and then use them up quickly and just sort of keep track of the concentration. Um, but anyway, I hope that you appreciate this update. And oh, don't forget to check out the Chemnitz Creations Etsy store. Right now, this is the anniversary of the Dye Pot Weekly Kickstarter campaign, which was funded a year ago. And over this month, there's a lot of celebration going on. And one of those things was a re-release of the mystery surprise yarn that I offered in the Kickstarter campaign. So run over the, to the Chemnitz Creations Etsy store to check that out. And you can even find some yarn that I dyed with all of these beautiful colors. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend.